YouTube, what's going on? Your boy T. Davis, professional Madden player, is back with another great tip in this video. We are going to talk about the best play, probably in the entire game, to really slow down this dollar spinner DB fire meta that we see so much in the Madden community. Now, this tip, a lot of pros have been using it. I've been using it as well. I think it's better in Mutt. Um... Just because it's fine in regs too, but in mutt you're going to be able to you know pass out of this. You have the more abilities at your quarterback position. You know in regs, you know if you use a mobile quarterback, a guy like Lamar, Jalen Hurts, it's tough because they don't have that gunslinger, they don't have that pass lead elite ability, those type of passing abilities to make this even better. Now in mutt you can kind of stack some of these abilities on some of the quarterbacks out there, whether it be Michael Vick. Uh, there's a there's a plethora of quarterbacks you can do it with. So I do prefer this in mutt with the scheme we can build out of it. But it's fine in regs as well, too, because the Eagles and, and, and Ravens, they're fine teams in regs. You know, the Cardinals, um, you know, obviously I prefer like using like the Packers, the Bucks, uh, Chargers in regs. So that would be a little bit tougher to do this play out of. But anyways, we're going to break it all down here. You can maybe create a nice scheme out of this. You can audible around from this. And we're talking about the QB draw. Now, you can use this out of any, it's pretty much in every five wide, you know, empty flex, empty base flex, empty wide trio. But for me, there's a couple other ones too as well. But for me, my favorite is this empty tray stack formation. This formation to me is absolute money. The reason I like it so much is because it has some good pass plays to go with it, right? Post wheel is really good. You know, these quick wheels are really good against backed off man coverage. You got to play like smash seam with a nice deep crossing route. Has that deep corner. Z under is fine as well. Stick and nod. I always love that inside stick and nod tight end route. And then fade out, right? Fade out is really good because it has that kind of deeper, you know, uh, route to the left side. You can high ball that route really good. It also has a cross. It's almost like verticals with that, um, you know, deep, deep uh, high ball route that we like. And then jailbreak, jailbreak screen, I like to mix in occasionally here and there to the quick screen. Now, the play we want to take a look at, of course, is the QB draw. Now, you do want a mobile quarterback for this, like I mentioned. I'm using Jalen Hurts in this example, but guys like Lamar, Kyler Murray, Michael Vick, uh, Josh Allen even, like, it'll be fine. If you Even if you use a quarterback that's not as mobile, um, you can still mix this in occasionally. But I like to obviously have a really fast mobile quarterback. Only thing I'll mention, I like to put my ball carrier on conservative. Now, most players, myself, have been playing on conservative all year long, no matter what team I'm using or what what you know quarterback I use I always like to keep the ball carry on conservative this year decrease those fumble chances and especially for this QB draw you definitely want to be on conservative because you will fumble on balance uh, if you're taking hits so you can if you're going to play on balance I recommend trying to slide every time but that's not easy to do right you can you sometimes get tackled in the backfield things can happen so I like to be on conservative decreases those fumble chances all right so QB draw going to run it here versus dollar because we know spinner DB Fire 2, these have been the metas uh, pretty much all year, but especially later on in the year. Now, we're in practice mode, so it's not as, I would say it's not as effective, and it's a little bit nuanced and different because, you know, we're not playing an actual defense with a guy with a user. They're not making adjustments. And it's a little bit tougher because in against the computer, both linebackers are blitzing, which it's fine. It's still going to work. But in a regular game versus a real opponent, they're probably going to be using one of those linebackers in the middle. And that helps us even more because they're going to have to jump back, maybe you know work against the pass if, um, they're, if they're worried about the pass. And then we can run it even better. So versus the blitzing linebackers, a little bit tougher, but it's still going to work. So there's multiple two different ways we can do this. You can take it to the outside. You can look for the hole up the middle. Um, you can really run it any way you want, right? So let's go ahead and run it a few times here. This time, I like to take it to the outside. You see there, we get that outside leverage. Obviously, like I said, you want a fast quarterback. Now, Hurts isn't like one of the fastest guys. But you saw there on that replay, right? We're able to still get about five, six yards. We're able to get to the outside. So initially, when I hike it, the middle's a little bit clogged. Like I said, with these blitzing linebackers, normally a user's going to be one of these linebackers. So, like, he'll drop this guy back here a little bit like that. And we can probably even take it up that left, uh, you know, that left A-gap like right behind the guard. Get up there in this little space area, right? But you see here we're able to take it to the outside because these uh, outside receivers slash tight ends, they actually do block uh, pretty well on the outsides as well. And we're able to get outside. We only picked up about five, year, five yards there, but you can usually pick up a big gain out of it. Let's go ahead and run it here again. We can cut it back outside. Let's see if we can get the edge. We see we get the edge there, and we're able to pick up whew, 20 yards or so 
on that one. So to see how there's a multitude of different ways we can run it. You can take it up the middle like this, try to follow the blocks, pick up about five yards there. And that's even, like I said, with those linebackers blitzing. So you can take it to the outside. You can take it up the middle. really depends on where you want to go. It's really good on the goal line, the red zone as well. See if we can get it to the left side. It's going to be a little bit tougher. We don't have the blockers we'd want there. Yeah, it's a little bit tougher to go to the left side with not the extra blockers. So you can cut it back in. But first, this look, specifically the man look, I do like to take it to the outside here. We're going to get that outside leverage. It's really, really effective, hard to defend. And we're able to almost take it for a touchdown on that uh, carry, getting to the outside. One more time, you'll see if we can take it up the middle. You can sometimes take it outside, then cut it back in. Yeah, see, we'll still go to the outside there. So we're getting big plays on it every single time versus the spinner. Now let's go ahead and run it versus the DB Fire 2. And you see the DB Fire 2 a lot, of course. You know, the guy that won the Madden Bowl, the young man, Dez, he ran DB Fire 2 pretty much every single play. So when you see this, I like this more up the middle because, once again, those linebackers are not blitzing in this scenario, right? So let's go ahead and try to take it up the middle here. Yeah, look at that. You're going to get way a way better hole up the middle. We only picked up about three yards there. Um, but you see how we we have the hole there because the linebackers aren't blitzing. They're just dropping back. And then our that allows our offensive linemen to really get up there and create some great blocks. Now, an added feature I would recommend if you're playing Madden Ultimate Team, Eagles are a great team for it. If you can get those nasty streak abilities, some of those offensive line abilities, you know, that nasty streak, if it gets to the second level and the and it blocks a linebacker or a DB, it can completely pancake the whole entire defense. So I'd recommend researching some of those offensive line abilities, looking to add those to your arsenal for this play. So you see here, once again, we're going to get that great blocking up the middle, pick up three yards there, obviously wasn't as good as we want. Like I said, Jalen Hurts is not as fast as I'd like. Probably better with Lamar Jackson for this type of offense, but you see there, there we get a nice big gain. So DP Fire 2 just gets destroyed up the middle, right? Spinner, you take it to the outside more. Let's try to go to the outside a little bit here. See, like DP Fire 2, they, you can't go to the outside. You just got to take that thing right up the middle because the gap in the hole is so damn big. Here we go again. We, we pause, we wait, we juke, we get in there. Easy five yards, right, every time. So like I said, DB Fire 2 would go up the middle. Spinner would take it to the outside. Uh, this QB draw does a great job to defend or to go against dollar. So then this is going to force your opponent to really get out of dollar. Maybe get them into nickel 3-3, three, three, maybe something else, nickel normal. And that's where you can really, you know, audible, switch up your play calling. You can sub in different packages. Like you could sub in or maybe a, a, a running back in this uh, set, get a running back in there for Goddard. So you have that um, three receiver, one tight end, one running back type of offense. You can go with the two tight ends. You can go with even three tight ends. Um, you can go with even four tight ends. I've seen that in Mutt as well. There's so many different ways you can run this offense. Uh, I'm in the Steelers playbook. Like I said, this empty tray stack is in a bunch of playbooks. I believe it's in the Lions playbook, which is one of my favorites. So you can maybe even audible down to some of those popular formations. Steelers playbook, you can audible down to the ace double wing. Like There's just so many options you can do out of this to really create a chess match for your opponent. right? So you see them in dollar, you can run this. But then they get out of dollar, you can go down to something that really attacks the other defenses better. So... Just a great tip here to destroy the dollar meta defense. If you guys have any questions, of course, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, of course, subscribe to the channel. Hit this video with a like. And make sure you check out all my coachings and ebooks down in the links in the description below. Till next time, your boy T. Davis is out. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my exclusive content here on my YouTube channel. And don't forget to click the links in the description below if you want more cool stuff from your boy.